Hello, I'm Pearl Avery from Dorset County Hospital um, in the UK and I'm here to present my poster which is representing the IBD OC test and how it relates it to the send away cow protecting test um, uh, as related to the patients that we look after at Dorset County Hospital. We look after around 1,300 patients at Dorset County Hospital and um, it's an ever-growing patient population as it's a chronic disease and currently uh, we use cow protecting a lot and we send those tests away it takes between three and six weeks to have a result from that test which leads to uh, treatment delays and to obviously the uh, impacts on patient care and on our ability to ensure the patient's quality of life is um, as, as good as it can be so when I saw the IBD -OC, um, cow protecting test and app I thought this was an opportunity to speed up our treatment pathways um, we did a um, small trial based on 18 tests uh, the poster shows 15 results of that and um, we used the test in two ways so the patient did a completely self-care test at home and um, the other group brought in a sample for us to do the test we also sent the same sample away to the current provider of the send away test to compare the results primarily for us to understand how we would use the um, new results with the understanding that there would be a difference in the result. So as you can see from the results the um, graph shows a correlation along the line between the cow protecting results received by the IBD OC and how the patients were feeling at the time. So their symptoms are represented along the top and you can see that there's a real correlation between the cow protecting results and the disease, the disease severity of the patient as reported by the patient. There was a variation in the results we received by, from the IBD OC and um, compared to the send away test. So how the tests were handled, um, it could be that that test may take a few hours to reach our lab before it can be refrigerated and there may have been some degradation in the sample. Um, this has been reported in the literature before, um, as you can see in our references. Um, there's also intra variability in between the, the patient's own samples. So, you know, their result could be different at a different time of day. So it's there's going to be a difference is, is what, I'm, what, we're, what we're trying to say. So the um, patients found the test easy to use and so did uh, the nurses. So it took about 20 minutes to carry out a test um, and that that was a minimal amount of time considering the value of the immediate result. So overall our experience was good and um, it definitely has had an impact on patient care. At least one patient has avoided admission um, and others have had their treatment escalated much more quickly um, and effectively than we may have done so um, if we'd relied on the send away results alone. Um, we aim to continue to evaluate our experience with the IBD OC test um, looking to correlate between our surveillance colonoscopies and our IBD OC results throughout this year um, to give further support to our practice using this test.